Madam Speaker, I rise to support the objection. I'd like to point out that all of the cases that have been thrown out have been thrown out on standing, not the evidence of voter fraud. I'd also like to point out the same people who for four years have failed to find a shred of evidence to convict President Trump of Russian collusion are the same people trying to discredit hardworking American poll watchers who are risking perjury by signing affidavits confirming massive voter fraud in multiple states. The same fake news who took the word of Christine Blasey Ford against Justice Kavanaugh, who her own friends denied happened, also dismissed the sworn under penalty of perjury accounts from people who witnessed the election fraud. The same fact checkers who told you that Dominion machines weren't connected to the internet and couldn't be hacked are the same people telling you that there's been no voter fraud and no violations of election law. But it's been proven that these machines are connected and that they can be hacked. We have heard repeatedly argued that objecting to these ballots is unconstitutional and violates the rights of state legislatures. They would rather us affirm fraud and pass the buck back to states rather than following the process Madison, Hamilton, Jefferson, and the framers of the Constitution designed. When states fail to do their job, we are the last line of defense. Congress is here for this exact situation. We are here to be the fail-safe when states refuse to protect the people's votes. By objecting today, we are telling thousands of witnesses who signed affidavits that we have their back and we will not allow local officials who violate their own election laws to steal this election from those who lawfully voted. I yield the remainder of my time to the member of North Carolina. I rise today to support the foundation of our democracy, the Constitution of the United States of America. This document is the fabric and the solid foundation of a nation we call America, which has been a beacon of hope in a shining city on the hill for over 230 years. The words of our Constitution, as spelled out in Article 2, Section 1, are very clear when it comes to our elections. Mandating, not suggesting, not implying, but mandating that state legislatures, not secretaries of state, not state commissions, not county officials, not governors, but state legislators prescribe the time, places, and manner of holding elections. This mandate was not followed in the great state of Pennsylvania. If we allow this, this fraud to go on, an analogy, a football analogy, in the moving of a goalpost after the ball has been kicked and in the air, the preview of coming attractions will be future elections that do not adhere to honest and open voting by we the people and the loss of our great republic. As a lady told me not long ago, don't spit in my face and tell me it's raining. This is exactly what's happened to the American people in this election. In the words of Winston Churchill, when Great Britain was under siege by Germany, he said, there will be a time when doing your best is not good enough. We must do what's required, and we must do what's required to save this great republic. 